Hello, today I'm going to show you how easy it is to get great star trails using the new GoPro 11. It's got some nifty features for astrophotography. So first of all, I'm popping it on with a button on the side and then it goes into video mode. So what you need to do is swipe left to time lapse and then it's got this icon at the bottom click on that and it gives you lots of options from nightscapes, time lapse, vehicle lights, light painting, star trails, time warp. So we're going to choose star trails but if you want to customize it you can click on the pen icon and you can change the resolution, the trail length, how long you, or short you want the star trails and the shutter. But I like the default settings so we can go in there, click on that and then this icon here allows you to also adjust the length of the star trails so you can have it on short star trails long and max so the short i've not done this one but i've seen other videos where it is just barely trailing and most people seem to think that the long one is the best option i did my example on max here you can see my example and what i did is i basically pointed the gopro towards the north star polaris the stars are going to rotate around that point. So the star in the middle is Polaris, it's hardly moving and everything else is forming an arc around it. If you're in the Southern Hemisphere, you need to use the Southern Cross crux to find where the Southern Celestial Pole is and then point it in that direction to get the star trails around the Celestial Pole. But here it's dead easy, just point it to Polaris. So once you've done that, I can literally just set off the star trail exposure like that it says keep the camera still so at this point it would be balanced on something or on a tripod pointing up at the sky and it will you need to come back hours later to see any significant results and if you want to do one all night long you need to probably plug in an external sort of power power pack uh, i think the new enduro battery on the gopro 11 is pretty good it will last quite a while but if you want to do an all-nighter with a star trail or whatever or you know time lapse then you need to have an external pack, power pack for that i think so i'll stop that there if you find that you're you can't find the star trail option that's probably because you are in easy mode and easy mode really does it makes things easier it just gives you all the basic features you need but it emits the star trailing so if i leave it in easy and go back now to time lapse i've not got that option no more i've got time warp off speed and that's the only option it's letting me have so what i want to do is go back up across again click on the easy change that to pro and then back back across to the left and it's let me have star trails again so i can select star trails choose how long I want it with this icon here, hit the shutter after you've pointed it to where you want it to be framed and away you go. And my last example is just I wanted to see kind of the movement of Jupiter across the sky so I took it out the front of my house while I was uh, observing and imaging Jupiter. I thought I'd uh, do a star trail of uh, Jupiter going across the sky for a couple of hours. So that's what that looks like and you can see that obviously cars have been going by and kind of change the shot the headlights have obviously got involved there but i'll be interested to sort of play with the light paint feature which looks really cool as well where you can basically jump in the shot with a torch paint something jump out and then at the end of your time lapse it'll have that kind of light painted into the image but everything else exposed correctly so I think I'm, I'm going to look at that next. Okay, so that's nice and easy as you can see. And I'll be using this in my videos for some B-roll I should imagine. Thanks very much for watching if you made it this far. Big thank you to my channel members Dan the Man for Grapples and Ziggy Friends. And until next time, please tell those clouds to sod off.